What is going on guys and today we're talking about the territory capture update which has recently hit Star Trek Fleet Command. So this is the part of the roadmap update which you learned a lot about. Um, so the galaxy map has really been updated with the origin sector and really there's going to be a bunch of takeover um, tiers which is really going to benefit your alliance with full of buffs and such. So it's going to be really cool and I'm really enjoying the fact that you can do this with your alliance, with your teammates, but do keep in mind that only the top alliances will be able to um, participate in this because if you're part of a small alliance basically then you won't stand much of a chance of gaining those uh, rewards. So it is some pretty cool stuff that we have going on here. Okay, so let's get right down into the nitty gritty. So the roadmap update is pretty cool and it's constantly changing to kind of suit STFC players. And, you know, you can guarantee that the rewards, of course, will change over time. So this is just the initial rewards, which we will be getting. So how does territory capture really work? Well, you have a takeover window, essentially, and you'll be able to kind of bring your ships into the system. The developers really want um, the high powered ops level ships, so kind of 39 to 40 to 50, kind of uh, going through the system and taking out the uh, enemy alliances. And then the smaller ships um, below level 39 will take over the capture nodes. And once you capture territory, that is when you will get the alliance buffs and rewards. So other things which are included in this update, owner exclusive mining. So resource nodes will only be mined by members of the alliance that owns that node, owns that zone. So this is incredibly important. So if you capture large swathes of territory, only your alliance will, will be able to mine there and benefit from this. It's pretty huge. Um, also exclusive housing. You can only relocate to the systems which you've captured. Again, this is really gonna benefit the top alliances who are doing this. And of course, the buffs and uh, services. So take a look at this, this little embassy tab right here. So we have Alliance, uh, the Omega Zone, and they have captured a, a system. So it's pretty interesting here. To me, this image is not completely Star Trek. It looks kind of, uh, I don't know, kind of like Call of Duty. <laughs> I don't know, something like that. But uh, yeah, so this is this is gonna be pretty cool. Um, so for you whales out there, there will also be a territory capture store where you, you'll be able to buy some extra stuff for your alliance and individual self, so that's really cool. Um, we'll have alliance diplomacy, um, USS Discovery, Summoning ability will work for those who are using the summoning ability, which is actually pretty useful for those who use it. Uh, this will be available in territory capture. So all of this is going to be uh, incredible. And hopefully this will bring a new layer to the game and it'll bring all of those old players back uh, to Star Trek Fleet Command. Guys, that is it for now. Thank you for, of course, liking and subscribing to my content. And I hope to see you again uh, in the future. Stay safe out there. All right, see you guys.